Hey fam, it is your girl, B1, and the only spicy, and I'm here today with another pick a card reading. I hope everyone is feeling well. I'm feeling blessed. I'm grateful, and I am, of course, excited to be doing another reading for y'all today. If you are new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber and viewer, then I want to give y'all a special welcome back. I am so thankful for everything that you all continue to do to support the growth of this channel. And y'all really be having me cracking up <laughs> in the comments. So I appreciate that too. Like it's always refreshing when you all just feel so comfortable to share with me what pile you've chosen to even share your own personal stories and even just making me laugh. Like, so I definitely appreciate y'all and I look forward to continuing to grow this channel and just to, you know, continue surrounding myself with some amazing subscribers. Y'all know who y'all are. Um, the question that we're asking spirit today um we're just asking who wants your attention and why who wants your attention and why i mean you can either care or not care but if you want to get into it today then this is what we doing if you are new to pick a cards this is how this essentially is gonna go you can pause the video right now if you want to you can take a look at the three piles that we have in front of us so for pile number one we have the Tinseltown Tarot with the Clear Crystal Quartz Geode. For Pile 2, we have the Stardust Tarot with the Citrine Crystal. And then for Pile 3, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal with the Rose Quartz. So pause the video right now if you need to. Take a look at the artwork or take a look at the crystals. Um, and choose, you know, whichever pile it is that you want to listen to. Go to the description box and click the timestamp that correlates with the pile or the piles that you have chosen and I will see you at your reading. All right, my pile one people, if you chose the Tinseltown Tarot with the Clear Crystal Quartz Geode, we're gonna go ahead and get started with your reading. But first and foremost, I definitely just wanna welcome all the new viewers again and give a special welcome back to all the returning viewers and subscribers. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that button and join the fam today because I promise you will love it over here, okay? Make sure y'all check out them links in the description box because in the description box, you'll find links to um, donate to this channel if you would like to. The super thanks button is also enabled on this video so you can um, support the channel through that option as well. Um, you can also check out my line of 3D and hand painted gel press on nails that I post on Etsy. And if you would like to follow me over on Instagram, that option is there as well. Um, but yeah. You know, check out the links, get nosy, click around, see what's going on with me. But anyway, y'all, let's get into it because we came here for the tarot. Okay, we came here for the tarot. So let's get into it today. In addition to the Tinseltown deck, I have two other Oracle decks that I'm also going to be using um, just for some additional messages. But we are asking for Pile 1 Spirit. We're asking, ooh, we're asking Spirit for Pile 1. Um, who wants your attention and why who wants your attention and why pile one All right so what came out um the eight of pentacles actually came out upright um so we have the eight of pentacles Whoever wants your attention could be closely watching you. Um, this could be someone that you work with. This could be someone at work. Um, or whoever this is could just be watching you work, especially if you work on your own. We also have the Four of Swords here as well. Also watch you. Give me a We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Death card. We have the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. 
So for the most part, I feel like whoever is watching you, like right now, they're just watching you get to work. I think that you all could be doing a lot of um, transformation when it comes to as, long, as far as like your beauty and your looks. So you could be in a type of field where that's what you're doing. Like you could be doing makeup or you could be someone who emphasizes beauty. Like you could be doing nails. Um, some of y'all, what I heard was that you um, have probably... I'm not putting this on everybody. This could be specific, but maybe someone just got surgery here or some type of cosmetic surgery. So you looking different, um, you looking different. And that's, this is what this person is looking like. Um, or you could have also just transformed your body through some type of weight loss or something. So like this person is, you know, looking at that as well. But I feel like this person wants your attention because you're so focused on you. You could be very focused on your self-care right now. You could be very focused on your rest. Um, and like I said, transforming your beauty. Um, but yeah, I just feel like this person, um, you're being, yeah, you're being stingy with yourself right now. And that's not a bad thing. I feel like, especially if you're someone who in the past has typically like been a people pleaser or something like that, you know, you're used to kind of like giving your power away. I just feel like you're in a very, I don't want to say like a recluse energy, but you're in a very, it could be recluse. It could be the word, um, but I feel like you're just focused all about you right now. Um, and if that is a form of self-care and self-love, then that's what you're exhibiting. I think that this person might, they just want your attention maybe because there's no room. You know, what I heard was like, there's no room in here. So maybe you have blocked them out. And not to say like, you know, you you don't want to deal with this person ever again in life. But I'm just saying that, you know, you you kind of only have enough mental capacity to think about what is going on directly with you in your life. So there's kind of like no room. What I just heard was you can't sit with us. <laughs> so this person might want to have an intimate connection with you and be very close to you, but that's not something you're interested in right now. Maybe you're not, if this is a romantic interest and it's like, you're not really open to dating right now, you're kind of focused on doing your own thing. Um, but this person, I think they want a close hand view. Like they want just to see like, how it is that you do what you do. So maybe this person, you know, it, it could come off as they being nosy. You know what I'm saying? It could come off as they being nosy, but I feel like this person wants a firsthand account and view into your life. Um, I don't think you should really trust this individual who wants your attention. Um, right now, I feel like this could be someone who is like, they might seem as though they're all about you. This could also be a love interest, um, or this could even be someone who uh, would approach you because of your work, you know, because of the quality of your work. So this could also be like someone who approaches you on like a business type of front, you know what I'm saying? Um, maybe someone who wants to invest in your idea, someone who wants to partner and collaborate with you. Um, but I think that you should be wary of this person i think they could be deceptive especially here with um the zoro figure wearing the you know wearing the mask it's like that's how zoro was he kind of deceived everybody in his town that you know they saw him but they didn't know that he was really out here fighting crime so you know he did kind of have to deceive people gaslight people manipulate people you know what i'm saying he did have to do that just so he could operate how he wanted to at night it's true um, and I don't know if y'all used to watch Zorro on Disney, but I love that show. Like I will watch that show to this day. It's one of the black and whites, but that's besides the point. I think that you do have to be wary of this person because they could just, like I said, be trying to get close to you. They want your attention just so they can kind of steal your ideas or steal what you have going on. Um, or you know manipulate or deceive you there's there's some type of cunning strategy that's that's being done here um so you have to be careful with this person i think all isn't what it seems and they could be a very like deception like just a deceptive person like all is just not what it seems it's like the magician energy but like the magician within the reverse <laughs> you know what i'm saying 
the magician within the reverse. So yes, you can probably sense that this person, you know, is energetic. You can sense that they are all into you. You can sense that, you know, they want to know what's going on with you. But I think that this person just wants your attention because they're opportunists. And oftentimes with opportunists, they want to see what you have going on to see what they can gain and not necessarily what they could give back. Um, be careful with this person who wants your attention. I think that they're going to try to come towards you as if they want to be truthful with you, that they want to be honest with you. Um, they're going to come towards you to develop uh, some type of romance with you or they might want to you know, ask you on a date. But I really think it's just so that they can take from you because they see that, you know, whether this is your work, whether this is your beauty, like um, your your work ethic or your beauty, um, your ability to transform yourself, um, your ability to renew yourself. Um, maybe some of y'all are very smart, um, very goal driven. It's like you're very successful. You're very empowered people. And I think that they just want to see you know, what they can gain from that. Um, they want to see what they can gain from that. They might try to see what they can learn from you, but I guarantee you it's not. Yeah, what I heard was endearing. So this person might show some endearing qualities, you know what I'm saying? Or make you, you know what I'm saying? Make you think that <laughs> they're, they care, like, or they could be trying to fluff y'all up with words, kind words. And it's like some people, it's like they get all mushy when people start complimenting them and, you know, saying stuff and doing stuff. They start to get all mushy, you know, but y'all, I would say just be a little discerning when it comes to this person. It's like they could be giving you compliments and doing all these things, but, but what it, what is the end purpose? What do they seek to gain? So I definitely would say, like, be careful with this individual because, um, like I said, they could be trying to approach you as like they're a love interest. Um, they could be trying to approach you in this way, but I think it's only so that they can have some type of breakthrough with you because like I said, you're, you kind of keep a close knit circle. You know what I'm saying? Like you keep things close to you. So they just kind of want to get into that inner circle. So yeah, who, who wants your attention? This could be somebody that you work with. Like I said, um, someone you encounter at work. If not, it's someone who is watching you work. If you put your work on social media, they can be watching that. Um, this could also be someone from your past as well. Um, and maybe this person wants to come back towards you and start a new beginning with you. They want to appear as though they're going to be honest with you. Um, yeah, I just feel like, like I said, <laughs> be discerning, be discerning with this person, be discerning with this person because they may not want to. They may not want to come make your life better. I think they may just be trying to come make things worse. And like even with the tower card, like I just think it's best to stay away from this person because they might come around to try to tear things down or even to start adding external factors to your life that tears down what you've already created for yourself. So I would just say be discerning um with this individual this could like i said too this could also be someone from the past i know like you know the death card doesn't really signify that but i think um this would be the best thing for you to do as well which is to like just purify yourself of these people from the past you know we're moving into a new season so if it's people that you don't really want to deal with like you just gotta keep having tunnel vision because i think y'all are really good at that Y'all are really good at, you know, only being concerned and focused with what's going on with you. Some of y'all could be Aries. <laughs> and that's, I know Aries have that energy easily, okay? Aries are concerned with their fingers and their toes. So, you know, that's a good thing to have when there's potential opportunists around you that just want to take from you. Um, but yeah, this, this could be someone from the past. Just when I see Dracula, it's just like, <laughs> it like he just popped up out of his... Uh, coughing and he's just like boo like you know what i'm saying so this could definitely be someone from the past that is trying to come back and maybe rekindle something um and also with the tower that signifies a breakup as well so as good as this offer may seem or whatever they try to do to you know 
be around you. Um, as good as it may seem, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's there are strings attached. There are strings attached. Um, and then also with the two of cups, I feel like this is someone that you're not really compatible with anyway. So I really do think that you have to continue to keep, uh, oh, two of cups in reverse. I think that you have to continue to keep minding your business. Um, some of y'all are taking a break from love and romance. Like I said, you're resting. Uh, <laughs> some of y'all could be in a healing period right now. So it's just like this, that the energy that you're in right now is actually the best when it comes to this specific individual that may just want to come and manipulate and may want to come and deceive. Um, but yeah, they definitely do want your attention. Um, it seems like they want to make some type of loving offer a gesture. Like I said, maybe ask you out on a date or they probably want to, you know, be honest with you. They'll probably say, oh, I want to be transparent with you. You know, I want to, you know, change this connection. If this is an ex, yeah, they probably want to change the connection. And they said they want to keep things. They want to be honest with things. But I really feel like the best thing that you can keep doing is if you have to speak your truth. Like if you have to communicate with this person, you know, you're not feeling what, what they putting down. Speak your truth and tell them like, look, I'm doing me right now. <laughs> like with the Ace of Swords. And the four of pentacles, like, speak your truth with this person and be like, look, I'm doing me. Like, <laughs> you could tell them, like, look, I'm taking a break from, you know, dating or I'm taking a break from trying to foster new connections with people and it's based in love. Like, I'm taking a, a break from that. Like, maybe you don't have the emotional capacity to deal with other people right now. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like whatever y'all are doing, you're being very diligent and you're you're very detail oriented and you're you're focusing on you. Um, this could be some creative hobbies or it does not have to be. Like I said, some of y'all could be in a beauty field. That's something that came up. Um, you know, you're just looking good. So I just feel like this person wants to get in your inner circle. Um, they kind of want to see how you operate. They probably want to watch you work. You know, something like that. Um. They probably want to learn some of your secrets, you know, um, see how you live life. But I just feel as though as much as this person might seem like they're into you. Um, and I think that's why they want your attention. Just so they can, in a way, they could also be trying to love bomb you too. Like, you know, and they don't have to, the thing is, is like a person, you don't have to be pursuing a romantic relationship with someone for them to love bomb you. Like a friend can Someone who's approaching you as a friend could be trying to love bomb you. But like I said, they could be trying to say a lot of sweet words, but you do really do have to, at a certain point, just pull back and question, like, why is this person telling me these things? Like, because some people really like that. It's like, they'll be telling you, giving you compliments and doing and saying all of these things just so they can go be a snake behind your back, <laughs> you know, because they got you where they want you. So I would just say be discerning because whoever wants your attention, they want you in a specific place so that they can, you know, operate in a way or, you know, have an agenda. You know what I'm saying? So they can proceed with their agenda. That's basically what I'm trying to say, like whatever plan they have against you. But I think that that plan is um, not a good plan. I think that that's a plan for destruction. And I also think that they're going to try to use love and romance to get you in that place so just be careful just be careful like be careful with this person this is the divine feminine oracle deck that i'm pulling cards from be careful with this person we have something new so yeah i think that they want your attention because you always are becoming some someone new or you always are working on something new. Y'all are very diligent and motivated, hardworking people. Y'all are not lazy people. Um, and I think that you're always changing and evolving. You're always paying attention to detail. So some of y'all could really have your life together. Like you really could have your life together. You could have your home life together. You know, maybe you decided to be single. You can have your finances together. You know, you can have your career together in a place to where it's like, if you want to take a day off, you can without the stress of not being able to pay a bill or, you know, um, without, you know, just the, the daily life stressors that people go through. So a lot of y'all could really be in that type of, you know, energy and that energy a lot puts you in a 
you know, a peaceful place to be able to create. You know, it puts you in a peaceful place to be able to make, you know, a good, the next good decision for your life. So I just feel like y'all are something new. <laughs> yeah, y'all are something new to this person too. So this does not necessarily have to just be an ex. Maybe it is that, um, it could be though. It could be too. But I just feel like you all um, could just be a diff just a different type of individual, different type of person that maybe this person typically encounters. Um, but yeah, they could also want your attention too if this is someone from your past because they want to create something new. I know we have a lot of new energy here. So they might want to make you seem as though they are a new person. They are a different person. Um, but I don't know. That's really up to <laughs> that's up to y'all and it's up to you being able to discern what's best for you. But just my advice is, like I said, think think twice. Think twice with this individual. And then we also have narc repellent. Um yeah, I, for some reason what I heard was beat the system. So this person might think that you are stupid. Like, that's the only word that came to my mind. Like, they might think that you are, are stupid or that you're not smart. You're not discerning. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel as though this person feels like... What I just heard was, like, beat the system or, like, cheat like cheat code or something. Uh, they think that this person is really... I guess it's coming off as, like, arrogant or egotistical. Like, they feel like they might be able to fly under the radar when it comes to you. Um, you know, they think that you may not be able to suss them out, you know, uh, yeah, like you, you stupid or something. I'm not calling y'all that, but this person could think that when it comes to you. Um, so I think they could be trying to disguise themselves as something other than what they really are, um, which could potentially be someone who has a personality disorder. So I would just be careful with this person because it seems like y'all are people who are like I said you're very actually discerning and you're so focused on taking a break and taking a rest um I think I already said this is someone you could be in separation from because it's two different cards here that would denote some type of breakup um but yeah this person wants your attention maybe they see that you're not really going for the bs so that's why I think they're trying to disguise themselves as uh not obviously a threat but this person could be like a, a covert threat. You know what I'm saying? They try to fly under the radar. So it's it's like people do this all the time. It's like you could tell somebody what your boundaries are, but it's like they will just be like, oh, okay, those are your boundaries. Uh, but they still going to do what they want to do and continue to test and push your boundaries regardless of if you said it was or not. So it's like regardless of if you are someone who, you know, people with, personality disorder stay away from this person is like egotistical or they're arrogant they feel like i could i could do that like i could get in there you know what i'm saying like i could do this like that's really how they feel like with that king of wands so it's just like the king of wands like that's the type of energy is like it's gonna go after <laughs> what it wants that's the type of energy and it's like if it's a good thing that's great but in this case, with the Seven of Swords, it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's just not good. Like, I wish y'all could see my face. It's not good. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have the Shapeshifter card. I think this is really confirming what, I, what I'm saying. It's like, this person is probably going to, you know, uh, change, like, initially try to change who they are. What I heard was sending their representative which is not who they really are. So they might just be trying to, sh you know, shift themselves into, you know, someone that you would find to be desirable. Um, someone that, what I heard was someone you might want to take under your wing, someone you could want to help. You know, they might try to shift themselves into being that way. Um, but I don't think this person is really who they present themselves to be. Um, I really don't think so. So... And I think this person wants your attention as well. Y'all could be shape-shifting in ways too, but it doesn't necessarily have to mean like you're doing it in a negative way. For y'all, shape-shifting in a you know positive way is that's like you're literally transforming yourself, like you're evolving. So y'all could even be purifying yourself too, like detoxifying yourself. So in a sense, it's like who you are and who you look like now, you might not look like that way in six months after going through some type of spiritual detox or 
like I said, maybe undergoing some type of beauty treatments or confidence treatments. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Therapy. Like, so this is probably why this person um, wants your attention. Um, and then we also have purpose driven as well. Yeah, you all could just be very much, like I said, focused on you. You're focused on yourself. And then we have this card here with the four of pentacles and this man has all these awards in his hands it's like you know the the all eyes are on you at this point all attention is on you um as you're diligently you know working on yourself um so and working on your life i think that you all are in a pretty good place in life right now like even if you don't believe it it's like you're in a it seem like you're in a better position than you know just the majority of people um to the point to where it's like you can take breaks if you need to you can relax if you need to some people are so fear-based that it's like they cannot bring themselves to relax but yeah i think i just think this person wants a piece of what it is that you have you know what i'm saying i just think they they want to come they want to make themselves seem like they're something but they're not that way um to get a desired outcome from you and it's like i don't i don't like it just be discerning be discerning when it comes to them um let's see what else comes up from the wisdom of the oracle So we have breathe breathe came up as well i feel like this is the energy y'all in just like a real a real peaceful real calm energy um this is just where you at right now um and it's an independent card it's like no other figures in this card so i just think this person wants to get into your inner circle and they they just being nosy it's like they just want to see how you do what you do how you're living why is your life going working so well for you? How how have how have things been able to to change for you? Like you know, they just want to know. And then with the and th that's nosy. What I just heard was mind your business. Like I feel like somebody just told this person mind your business. Like, but yeah, with the here and now, um, it just seems as though this person is all like their mind is consumed with you right now at this place in time like they're consumed with you they're consumed with what you have created for yourself they're consumed with the victory that you're experiencing some of y'all could be very good you know love interests you know what i'm saying like a very good option that's something that i've heard as well like you're a really good option you really are and you know you're sitting on some of y'all too i feel like you're sitting on a really big blessing you're sitting on a really big nest egg but the fact that the matter is is like yeah this door is open but it seems like it's another door here that is not showing you what is inside so it's like y'all have a certain level of openness when it comes to people but other than that it's like everything else is going to be closed off <laughs> okay it's not for everybody's consumption what i just heard was for your eyes only so you know what i'm saying it's not for everybody consumption <laughs> okay it's not um and it's here and it's right now so i just feel like this person is like definitely hyper focused on you right now and what you have and like i said they trying to be nosy and they want to see what's really going on with you or maybe what nest egg you're sitting on what blessing you sitting on like what's the next positive development in your life like they want to be around for that but like i said be careful with this person i'm gonna repeat it again just to wrap up this reading like i said be careful with this person because their presence in your life has the potential to be very destructive okay they might make you feel like they're a good option for you um whether it's business, whether it's love, but y'all are not compatible. So don't fall for the possibilities of what could be with this Ace of Cups and this Ace of Swords. You know, focus on creating these things for your own life. Don't focus on what the possibility of these things could be connected to this person. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it right there, y'all. I hope this resonated. Definitely make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one.
All right, fam, my pile two people, if you chose the Stardust Tarot with the Citrine Crystal, I'm going to go ahead and get started with your reading. But first and foremost, I definitely want to say welcome to all the new viewers. And I want to give a special welcome back to all the returning viewers and subscribers. If y'all have not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the fam today. You know, subscribing is free. <laughs> it really is. So, you know, join us and I promise that you will definitely love it over here. Um... I want to thank all y'all so much for just being so supportive, for engaging, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos. I'm just so appreciative and I just look forward to continue to be consistent. Check out the links in the description box, y'all. I have links there to donate to this channel. You also have the option to utilize the super thanks button, which is enabled on this video if you would like to support um, that way. Uh, make sure you check me out on Instagram. There's a link there for that. And I also have a link to check out my Etsy store where I post my line of 3D hand-painted gel press on nails. But we are here for the tarot, so let's get started. I also have two other Oracle decks that I'm going to be using just for some additional information. Um, but yeah, pile two, pile two people. Um, who wants your attention and why? Pile two people, who wants your attention and why? So we have the King of Pentacles within the reverse. Whoever wants your attention, whoever wants your attention, um, yeah, this is not the type of person that you need to concern yourself with already off the rip. Because the King of Pentacles, even though this is someone who might be in a powerful position, they could be someone who is just very mean, very... Um, oppressive like they might use their power in not the good not the best ways um this could be you know a, a father figure that maybe wants your attention it could be a boss that wants their attention your attention um it could just whoever is like someone that's in a position of power in your life um or you know in the in the in the circles that you frequent it's like this person is really intensely watching you and I think they're always watching everybody. But for some reason right now, it's you. <laughs> like, I really think they always watch it. Like, this person also, they feel like they're omnipresent. Like, they feel like they know all. So they could have like one of those God complexes where they feel like they are God um, and they're not. Uh, <laughs> they, You know what I'm saying? They could feel like they're God and they're not. Um, and I also feel like this person is so mean because they don't really have the resources that they think they need right now in life. Like they really don't have them or their business could be going backwards. Um, their job can be going backwards. They could be at fear of losing their job. So um, yeah, this person, this is the type of person where it's like you would think that because they have it all or it seems like it's perceived that they have it all, that they would be like a nice and generous person, which they could be. But I think this person chooses to not be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They choose to not be. So it's like, yeah, you seem like you have it all, but why are you not happy? Why are you not happy with what you have? You know what I'm saying? Why are you not happy with, with what you have? Um, this person isn't really empowering to be around. I don't think this person is going to... If you, if this person was to attach themselves to you, it seems like things in your life would be blocked or some things would be going backwards or, you know, it just seemed like their mean, oppressive self at times, they could be exploitive because it's like they might have access to resources, but that doesn't mean that they're doing the right things with the resources that they have. So it's like this person, even though it seems like they are potentially powerful, I feel like this person wants to, they don't want to make you an honest person. I feel like their relationship with you, it would just get you doing just mad, twisted, toxic, you know, things. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel like this is someone else that you should not pay attention to. Like this is someone else that you should, you know what I'm saying? Tunnel vision, tunnel vision tunnel vision don't focus on this person because i just feel like they would they would bring the worst out of you they wouldn't bring the best out of you yeah i feel like they wouldn't bring the best out of you 
Um, it seemed like this person wants to potentially, I feel like they're stuck in life. And I feel like why they want your attention, they might want you to be stuck as well. Um, or they might want to take you under their wing. I feel like this person is probably like a mentor to you or someone who like their words matter. What they say matters. Their decisions matter. You know what I'm saying? Their decisions matter. So it's like they can really make a decision or have a certain type of influence over you um, that just it, it's not a, a good decision to make or it's not a positive influence. Um, it seemed like this person, they want you to, what I just heard was like, they, they want you to walk on the wild side. They want you to walk on the wild side. So I just feel like the type of people that y'all are, it's like, you could be, I'm not saying that you're easily influenced, but I feel like you give people a chance. You know what I'm saying? Like you give people a chance to get to know them. Um, you are, you know, open, you're someone who's receptive. You could even be, you know, a very submissive person. It's like, if you respect someone, you're going to respect what they have to say. And you're likely to listen to what that person has to say, you know, especially if they're influencing you. But I just feel like this person is a bad influence and they just want you around so that you can, in a way, potentially even be like a minion, um, it's like a minion or they can easily control you, but it's not good for your life. It's not good for your life because I feel like it's only going to, you know, lead in your life, not even necessarily going backwards, but like good things won't be happening for you. So they could be like blocking your blessings and maybe things that the universe wants to give you um, just from being around, like just from <laughs> just from them being around, like on the bottom of the deck, I see the devil. Like, so it's just like. This, you know, what I just heard was I'm off. I'm giving you an offer that you can't refuse. I'm giving you an offer that you can't refuse. So I think that this person sees you as an equally powerful person, even though they might have a sense of inflated ego. I feel like they see you as a powerful person, but they just feel like, oh, they're powerful. But, you know, like, or you, you all could definitely be creative people as well. And they're just like, oh, you're powerful. You're creative. Oh yeah, this person's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I need to get them to do this. You know, they're good for what I need them to do. Like, so it's just like, don't say yes. Don't say yes. Like, I'm giving you an offer. I'm giving you an offer that you can't refuse. You know, so don't say yes. I just feel like y'all are just abundant with energy and creativity and they need you on their team. They need you on their team. So this could be from a business standpoint. It don't just have to be love. But I also feel like some of y'all could have like shady bosses, shady managers. Like it's just mad shady people, <laughs> you know, shady people around in positions of power. And they see that you are a good asset to have, but it's only going to bring out the worst in you if you were to connect yourself with this person. Like things wouldn't be moving positively for you with the will of fortune in the in the in the reverse. It's like this is not a this is not a blessing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is not a blessing. So if this person offers you an opportunity to do something, you know, think twice. It might not be the it might not be the blessing that you're looking for. Um, it might not be. I think that you all are very energetic people right now, and you know, you try your hand at different things. Um, and I think that you all are risk risk takers as well. So I think that's why this person is uh, looking at you like, you know, they could use someone like you. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I would just say <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would say no. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> Focus on what you have going on. Like, you know, don't feel as though you need to take that opportunity. Um yeah i just feel like this person is a resistant individual as well so even if you were trying to tell them something that went against what they have in mind um that you know they would be very mean and um also very condescending so definitely no <laughs> i'm just like no yeah i'm done i'm done but um yeah 
it just it seems like whoever this person is is like they just really want to smother you and they want to put you in some type of codependence situation um and i just feel like if you were to lean into this person's advances like yeah they would you know uh provide certain things to you like they would give you certain things or they would um you know what i just heard was throw you a couple dollars <laughs> throw you a couple dollars like you know they would you know support you like they would but in a sense it's coming off like it's charity like oh i have to get this person this you know what i'm saying this person they just mad egotistical and arrogant like I don't like people like this. Um, I really don't. But I do feel like they want you specifically just because of how generous that you can also be with other people. Like I said, you give people a chance and you take risks on people. And I think that they just want to use your good qualities for bad. They want to use your good qualities for bad. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I think that you all are people who understand what it means to be determined and what it means to be, you know, patient, what it means to uh, to plant seeds, what it means to take steps every day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Every day, I feel like you understand what it means. But I also think that this person knows that anybody that is attached to them is going to fail. Like this person knows that. You know, and I think that they might want you to take the fall for them or they might want you to take the blame for them. Um, and I also feel like this person is high key dealing with a lot of poverty and destitution. So I think that they just want to spread and project how bad they feel about themselves onto other people. What I just heard was the fall guy, fall guy. So this person might want you to be the fall guy, like someone who takes responsibility for all of their failures um it's just giving it's giving like if this is a negative family structure or something it's like they it, it's like they want to make you the scapegoat you know what i'm saying like if this is your family if this is your father it's like he might be wanting to scapegoat you you know what i'm saying because they see that you have some good qualities that's within you um and they might just want you to fail that's why I think be very careful about like what people give you because they may be trying to give you things that they know like is not for you just so that you can fail, just so they can see you fail. So I would say just be careful. Like I don't think you should engage yourself with this person because they're just really exploit exploit exploitive right now. Just because they might have some type of resource that you see, it might seem like it's shiny. What I heard was all that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold. So they might have a lot of shiny, nice things, um, but it's not, everything is not what it seemed like with this person. I also think they do a lot of shady business um, or if it's not shady business, they just going broke and they just want somebody to be the scapegoat. Um, they want somebody to feel how they feel like they they could be projecting their feelings and their you know bad financial situation onto other people so that other people can fail too so i would just say keep your distance with them because it's really not worth it. it it's really not um it's not i think that this person wants to have you around just so they can go and abandon you at the end of the day um, I just think they want you to feel how they feel. That's why they want your attention and energy because y'all could just be in a very energetic place right now. Very happy place. Um, you know, you're taking risks. You're focusing on, you know, things that excite you. Um, I think that you all heavily give back to other people as well. And this could be why you're always getting blessed by the universe is because you're giving to other people. It could be that this person, you know, they see that and because their situation is going backwards, maybe they don't want you to experience, you know, the they don't want you to experience your blessing. So whoever wants your attention, I feel like they're a blessing blocker. Very similar to pile one. So you should choose pile one. 
um if that interest if that interested you but yeah it just seemed like this person wants you to fail they want you to fail like whoever wants your attention they're just not a nice person very exploitive very exploitive person so i would say leave this person alone so i had like three cards four cards actually flip over so y'all give me a second i'm just gonna reshuffle this deck see what else comes out okay so we have the new you in reverse this part this person i feel like they want your attention so maybe they can keep you stuck or they can stop you from you know uh evolving and changing there's a lot of cards here that talk about you know being stuck like lingering <laughs> not moving forward you know um it's the six of swords in reverse and even the empress in reverse can talk about you know, being stagnant, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even the Empress in Reverse can talk about that as well. Um, and then I think also, even with the Wheel of Fortune within the Reverse, that's like your blessings is really blocked for real. You know what I'm saying? Your blessings is really blocked. I also feel like this person might want you to experience like that same scarcity that they are experiencing as well. And it's kind of like, it's, it's it's crazy to think right that like wow people really want to spread hate and negativity like people really want to do that and it's like it's it's it seems like it's taboo right but the fact is is like there's a lot of people like this out in the world like very arrogant very egotistical but bad stuff in their life is moving backwards and they just want other people who have hope who have a chance who actually have the opportunity to be there too so this person I feel like they want your attention just so they can dim your light. Like, but I really do think they're trying to offer you something like, oh, come work with me, come work for me, or oh, come, do do this thing that I told you to do. Like, but it's not what's best for you. So, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's not what's best for you as well. Like, it's not gonna orchestrate help orchestrate you in becoming, you know. A, a new evolved person all it's gonna do is keep you going backwards um chemistry so this person wants your attention maybe they think that y'all have some type of chemistry together <laughs> you know what i'm saying it just seemed like someone who wants you to like walk on the dark side like you know they just want you to walk on the dark side um so they might think that you both have things that are in common um Um, we have the love triangle within the reverse. If this is someone who, if this is someone who, um, is like, if this has to do with romance for you specifically, um, but yeah, this person, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's mad. They all about you. Like, look at all these eyes. It's like mad eyes looking at you, mad eyes trying to figure you out. Like, and I think I should do that reading too. Like, <laughs> What are they trying to figure out about you? But it's like, they're literally trying to figure things out about you. But um, this person, if it's a love and romance, like they are single, you know, that's a thing. But it's just like, do you want to, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do you want to put up with potentially going backwards in life or your blessings being blocked or potentially dealing with the same poverty and abandonment issues that this person is dealing with? So, I mean, at least you know that this person is single right at least you know that they're single um <laughs> but anyway um the, with your attention with um uh, why are they what well who wants your attention sorry it's not why are they watching you it's who wants your attention um i think that you all could just be in a space too where you are inspiring other people um because i see the even with the six of pentacles here you could be at an okay place in life right now um or just be in a spirit of giving so that could be you, a very charitable type of person. Um, that's that's probably why this person wants your attention because they need help. They need help. Like, they need your help. But the thing about that is that they are so not nice people that it's just, and like, they could be very arrogant that it's like, 
what are they going to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's a possibility that they want to use your, use your powers for evil. Like, so they do want your help, but I think that they could potentially drag you down in the process. Um, but yeah, inspiring others. You could be inspiring others by giving back. Um, Y'all could be giving back to your community or just inspiring others by, you know, um, showing that, especially if you are going after a specific goal in life with that seven of pentacles, it's like showing people how to patiently wait on what is for you, but also how to take the steps every day towards those things. Um, so you can have a lot of people watching you that might not be in the best financial situation. Um, so they probably need your help and support as well. Um, but yeah, this person specifically is like, all that glitters, I want to tell y'all, like, all that glitters is not gold when it comes to them. Like, as much as they think it might seem as though they have things together, it's really not. Like, they want your attention because they need your help. But getting mixed up, helping this person, helping this person is um, is not going to be good. <laughs> it's not going to be good for, for anybody. Um, it's kind of like the image of... You're in a boat in the middle of the ocean and you are, you see someone, they need help. And then it's like, you're trying to help pull them onto your boat, but then they keep trying to turn your boat over into the water. It's like that type of thing. It's like, dang, I thought you needed help. Like, now you're trying to drown me? That's weird. So that we have happy, happy, um, happy, happy. So you all could just be in a place right now where you are happy and opti optimistic and positive um you know you are looking within you know you're looking within yourself um with the balloons it just makes me think about some of y'all could be celebrating a birthday um <laughs> well at one point you know at some point <laughs> at some point everybody's gonna have a birthday right but it's like you all could just be celebrating a birthday or celebrating some type of accomplishment um it's a lot of positive vibes that's around y'all and that's probably something that this person um can sense and pick up on but they're not a really happy positive person right now so i think this person is really attracted to your energy like they just really are and that's why they want your attention and we have co-create yeah i do think this is someone they watching you because they want to collaborate with you like this co-create card talks a lot about like Oh, you co-creating with the universe. Like, you know, you're being perseverant. You're creating. Um, you're developing some type of wisdom, um, some type of awareness. But I think that this person um, might just be trying to use you to get a better footing with their own life. Um, so compared to this person, it, you might think to yourself like, oh, they have a lot or, you know, what, what can I do to help them? But it's like, regardless of, if you have less compared to this person, you have a lot of just great qualities and your energy is it's just really nice and optimistic and pure. So it's like, you know, <laughs> you do have something good to contribute, even if it's not just the shiny, glittery things that maybe um, this person has. So I would just say, mind your business, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing and let this person figure it out. You know, they already seem like they have things put together. So let them figure it out. But they do want your attention because they need your help. I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. I definitely hope that you are resonated with this pile. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. All right, my pile three people. Last but definitely not least, I am here with your reading. If you chose the final rose tarot. With the rose quartz crystal so i definitely want to say welcome to all the new viewers and i want to give a special welcome back to all the returning subscribers and viewers i'm so thankful for everything that you all do just with all the positive reception that i'm receiving on my readings and i'm just so thankful for y'all like i look forward to continue to be consistent and um yeah i hope you all continue to watch <laughs> Definitely make sure y'all check out the links in the description box. You'll find links to uh, follow me on social media. You'll find links to donate to this channel if you would like to. 
there's also the super thanks button that is enabled on this video if you would like to support the channel with through that option you have the ability to and um yeah check me out on etsy i have a store where i post my line of 3d and hand painted gel press on nails so y'all can check out what i do and my art my art and yeah so you know just click around take a look at all of the different links that you see there um but yeah we're here for the tarot so we're gonna get started with the reading for today i also have two oracle decks that i'm gonna be using for some additional information we're asking spirit today for pile three um who wants your attention and why who wants your attention and why okay <laughs> so we have the villain the villain the villain is the devil card the villain is the devil card like we have reflection with the four of the four of cups oh yeah the four of cups we have reflection We also have the three of wands. Yeah, this person that wants your attention could be very toxic in nature, or maybe they want to get put you into a toxic relationship, um, into a codependent relationship. It seemed like all the readings, all the piles today is like, it's been, no, <laughs> don't focus on this person who wants your attention. Don't care. <laughs> Keep it moving. Let me get y'all some clarifying cards. We have the two of pentacles. I think this person is trying to decide between you and another person. Um, if that's the case, take yourself out of the equation and let them focus on the other person. <laughs> Y'all know, y'all probably, y'all probably those type of people too, where you just like, if you have to choose between me and someone else, choose that other person. That's probably how y'all are. That's probably how y'all are. That's probably really how y'all are. Um, okay, so what else do we have here? We have, okay, the devil. We have the four of cups. We have the three of wands. We have the two of pentacles. We have the four of wands. And we also have the four of swords within the reverse okay like i said with this person um this is someone who whoever is paying attention to you or who wants your attention this is someone who um it's like if you're not dealing with this person then they're delusional because for some reason it seems like they're trying to like I said, decide between you and another person, or they could be trying to juggle between you and another person, um, or just juggle you as an option with someone else as an option. So it does not mean that you have to be actively dating a person at this time. Maybe they just trying to weigh out their options of who that who they want to approach. I think this person right now, they want your attention because they bored with the options that they do have, okay? Um, yeah, this is coming up as love. I think that they're bored with the options that they do have. Um, they not really interested. I think this person is focused on expansion. It's like this person, they are funny to me because they want something that they can't have. Okay. They want something that they can't have. It's like, you know how some people are where it's like, yeah, they want something for nothing, but they also want someone who you know is this amazing person and they have their own business and they're attractive and they're upstanding moral people they want that but then this person over here being toxic they could be cheating they could be lying they could be deceptive they could you know be drug addicts they could be alcoholics they could be it's like how are you going to want things that you don't have or how do you want someone where it's like you're not even compatible with that person like so it's just funny to me how it's just funny to me how this person wants your attention when they don't have what you need 
You know what I'm saying? They're not the the. It, it, it makes no sense. It's like, how do you want something that you you aren't like? That's not who you are. I feel like if you want something, then it's important for you to embody those things on the inside, so that it makes sense as to why you have that thing. You know. It's like active manifestation. It's like if you want to be wealthy, then do things that wealthy people do. You know what I'm saying? So I just feel as though, yeah, this person is like, they want your attention. They're not happy with the options that they do have. Um, this person could potentially want to have some type of, you know, relationship with you. They might want to have some type of household with you, but it's like they're toxic. So yeah, toxic people have these things, but it's not going to be as successful as they think it will be um, because they're toxic. You know what I'm saying? They're toxic. But I also feel like for y'all, um, y'all too uh, may not even be thinking about this person. Like this, like that's why I'm just like, you're living, you're living rent free in this person's head because they are in their head bouncing between you and another person so it's like if you don't even talk to this person but i think you do i think you do have conversation with this person like i think you do this person could be someone that comes to you to ask for advice um if you are um also a reader like me or you do like some therapy or life coaching or something it's like this person could be coming to you to be a client. Um, if you are just some type of teacher um, or you're in a healing practice, this could be one of your customers. Like I said, one of your clients is like, you know, they got mad stuff going on with them. But for some reason, and they had, you're living rent free. They're idealizing you and they're putting you in some type of competition or they could be triangulating you with someone else and you're not even aware of that thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all intuitively know that like this person is not right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think that you can pick up that this person is not right. But I also feel like y'all are still good people. You're committed to what you do. So it's like if this is someone that you're helping, it's like you're committed to helping this person. Um, but I also feel like y'all are just in a space right now where you're committed to expansion. You're pro you're committed to progression. Like, that's what you're focused on. Um, y'all could be, like, very much goal-oriented people. So that's what you're focusing on. Um, you're not entertaining this person in that way. Um, but they are, <laughs> you're living rent-free in their head, even if you're not entertaining them. Um but yeah, <laughs> I would definitely say y'all know me. Keep doing what you, <laughs> I'd be saying, keep doing what you're doing and don't focus on this individual because all they have to offer is just not good. Um, I also feel like this person wants your attention because they're very passionate about you. Like they could be even, you know, very obsessed, obsessed with you as well. That's why I'm saying that, you know, you're living rent free in this person's head. Like, they're very, very, very obsessed with you. So, I would stay out of it. Stay out of it because obsession can definitely turn um, very detrimental. But I do think that this person wants to create some sense of community with you. Or they could be a part of the same type of community, you know. This could also be a family friend. Someone who's a, um, someone, you know. They don't have to be your friend, but maybe they're a friend of a family member. Or even someone that lives in your neighborhood, your neighborhood and your community. Um, but this person is obsessed with you and obsession. What I want to say can turn very deadly. Like people can become very angry. Like, so I would just say like, you know, don't focus on this person. I think that you all are focused just on a long-term view and you use your intuition to help you make the best decisions. Um, I feel like y'all aren't really interested in maybe dating at this time um, or maybe just what options are there. So, of course, you're not going to be focused on this person at all. Like, they're not even an option. <laughs> That's what I heard is like, they're not even an option. But meanwhile, they think you're an, an amazing option. Um, so that's why I'm saying that obsession can turn deadly, especially when this person find out that you're not interested. 
you know, especially when they find out. But yeah, um, I definitely think that this person could be experiencing some complacent complacency um, right now in their life. And they could also be experiencing some type of collapse. So they just um, very similar to Pile 2 as well. They just probably need someone um, to be there for them. But I feel like uh, this person needs to just up and choose whoever else is on their mind and just leave you alone. Like, choose the other option. That's how I feel. Choose the other option. Like, so we also have um, the hot seat. And I think the hot seat is the... Okay, so the, I, for some reason why I thought the hot seat was the just the, the judgment card, but it's not. It's the justice card. Yeah, I think that um, this person, um, essentially, when I see the justice card and, this, and with this person being um, so toxic, I just feel like um, they could be receiving some type of karma. You know what I'm saying? And that's probably why they're in a lesser i think this person can be in a lesser position than you because i see you as someone who you know frequently counsels this person or you're helping them so i just feel like they could be dealing with some type of karmic issue right now like some type of karmic retribution and if someone's dealing with their karma it's probably best that you just stay out of it because it's just something that they personally have to deal with and it's like, if you connect yourself to that person, you could be, you know, experiencing a bit of their karma too. I feel like I've said that before on this channel, like karma got hands, okay? Karma got hands. Like you think that, like you will connect yourself to someone, you know, and maybe the God is dealing with that person at that time. Maybe God is dealing with them, but because you connected, now you got to get the smoke too. You know what I'm saying? Now you got to get the smoke. So it's just best that you continue to not focus on this person who wants your attention um, so you don't have to bring this karma so they don't bring their unnecessary karma and baggage um, to you. So that's not something that they're doing. Like, But yeah, this person could also, what I heard, be experiencing like a narcissistic collapse. If this is someone who has a, a personality disorder, like they could be literally collapsing and that's like when your sense of self is so in question because you're just confronted with all of your bad behavior and it's happening at one time and typically you know with people like that they they go into a rage or they just go into anger because it's like life as they know it is ending or they can't get away with things that they used to um so i would just be careful with this person because they could be unhinged um, they could be having temper tantrums, they could be raging. Um, so you might have to, if you help this person, or if you've provided a listening ear to this person, you might have to stop doing that and just decrease your, um, decrease your, what's it called? It interactions with this person. Like just decrease it. But yeah, this person definitely wants is considering choosing between you and another person. They could be a little Delulu. Um, <laughs> they could be a little Delulu, but I think they are. They could be trying to see who is the best. If it's love, it's like they could be trying to ma um, marry you or they're trying to choose you. And nah, like I don't care if they think you're the best option for them. Like I don't care. This person is unhinged and this is not the type of energy that you should be around. <laughs> like I don't care like I don't care because y'all have other great things to be looking forward to like you have a long-term you know view of things that you can be you know looking towards y'all's intuition is very much on point so you don't ever have to you know stick around for any and for any and everybody like you can always just be focusing on what's the next thing for you, like this car here, next destination, like what's next for you um, and focus on the good things that are coming towards you. Um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, just focus on that because you are you're you are extending a lot of energy to move forward, you know, so you have to be focused on 
your own, you know, self-care and rest. That's what you got to be focused on. Not this person and you living rent-free in their head. That's weird. So let's see what else comes up for y'all. Oh, wow. A lot. So we have walk away. This person wants your attention. Maybe they're deciding to walk away from the other option. That's there. Um, and this is an ex. Um, maybe they're trying to walk away from the third party. Um, trying to come over to you. Maybe they're not interested in the third party anymore. If there was another person involved in this situation. Um, so yeah. We also have happiness. So this person probably feels like, you know, you are attached to happiness or that they can create some type of happiness with you. Um, but this person not even on your level. That's the thing about it. It's like they're not on your level. So just leave it alone. You know, like that's basically referring to what I said earlier, where it's just like some people really want what they can't have. Like they want what they can't have or they want things that they're not prepared for. Like. We also have narc repellent as well. This person could definitely have some type of, uh, what's, what did I say, personality disorder. I know this was similar to another pile. I think it's pile one or two. Um, but all the piles really kind of just been like, no, no, no. <laughs> you know? So even with narc repellent, it could be that um, you might be a little standoffish to this person. Or like I said, you know you know who this person is you've identified this person as who they are um so maybe that's why you're not really paying too much attention to them this could also be someone that you used to be um friends with as well maybe someone you used to be best friends with and also hustling so y'all could be in a very hustling type of spirit right now where it's like you're just focused on your money you have your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Uh, maybe that's the sense of justice that you can give to yourself is by, you know, getting your financial um, situation together. Um, Y'all could be traveling a lot as well or just, you know, going to different events, um, especially if you are a business owner or, you know, or even if you're working your job, it's like you're going to different events. Um, maybe some of y'all are doing something that's commission-based. So you're really trying to hustle and do what you can do. Um, that's the best thing that you can be doing right now and focusing on. Um, or it could just be, even with y'all being in this hustling spirit, maybe this person wants a bit of what you have created for yourself. That's why they choose in between you and someone else. Like, you know, maybe trying to figure out where they best fit in. And what I just heard was this person could be a thotty where it's like they just go with the money. You know what I'm saying? Like they're going to go with anything. It doesn't matter who that person is. It's like wherever the resources are, that's where that person is going to go. <sighs> yeah, I said a thotty. <laughs> Let's get some cards from Wisdom of the Oracle to see what else. We have the breathe card. I know this came up in a previous pile as well. So maybe you all are focused on meditation. You're focused, you're in your four of swords energy. Um, even though it might come off as, even if you might feel like you're being um, stuck or things aren't progressing for you, maybe some of y'all could just be re like actually relaxing and taking a break. Um, taking a break. This could be someone that you... Um, if, you, if this person isn't actively in your life, then with the Four of Swords, it could also mean that, you know, there's a separation between y'all. And it's like, it's a real separation. It's like a real, I don't mess with that person. I don't want to mess with that person, that type of thing. So I'm just curious as to why you still living rent free in this person's head. You know what I'm saying? Why you still living rent free? So then we also have no place like home i feel like this is someone that you could have had a home life with like you could have lived with this person if y'all was dating at a certain point in time like you really could have lived with them 
um they probably put you in competitive situations with other people at a certain point in time but i just feel like this person is getting their karma and it's like as they're receiving their karma in life maybe they look at you like you know you are you know a comfortable person to be around or like you remind them of home you know maybe you all are good homemakers not to say that you don't you know, you can still be out here moving around the world, but still know how to create a nice, stable home life, you know, especially with the four of wands. Like, you know how to create a nice, stable home life. Like, you know, coming to your home, you you know, you can cook, clean, it's inviting, you know. So I think that this person has a sense of comfort when it comes to you. You know, maybe you treat them well in that in that aspect you know whether y'all live together or whether you went to their home or they came to yours um i just think they want what they can't have like i just don't think that this person is the type of person that deserves what you have to give but at the same time they are comfortable with you like you make them feel welcomed you make them feel invited so yeah i mean this will, this will want your attention. Just a mad, toxic, obsessive person. And they're definitely obsessed with you. So I would just say be careful with that. Um, because obsession can turn real ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that right there, y'all. I definitely hope that you all resonated with this reading. Um, definitely make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one.